Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another From the Depths sinking ship video sort of thing. And this time it is the Titanic Rams the Carpathia. Now I know this is April 15th and it's the anniversary yada yada of all this sort of thing. But uh, yeah, contrary to all that, we're going to go with what people have requested. So Titanic Ramming the Carpathia. I don't know why people want to see this, but this is what's going to be happening anyway. Now the Carpathia here is another convert from Minecraft. It's uh, well, A tutorial for it is available on my channel, but to be honest, I would not bother because it is a load of shit. Uh, a rebuild of this thing is due during this year sometime. But anyway, that's the old version anyway, so that's what we have there. And that's what's going to be rammed. Over there, of course, is my 2018 Titanic, which is going to be the thing that causes the damage in theory so what we're going to do as per usual start the engines ram the ship and we'll go from there so we'll start hopefully the right way yep, got the engines turned on and we ha shall have a slight bump into the side and uh, see what happens I know what's going to happen everyone knows what's going to happen but it, uh, hey ho there we go that's going to take a little while obviously because I put the Titanic too far away from the Carpathia and uh Yep, things are not going to go to plan. I'll just turn the repair tentacles off because we don't want the ships to be repaired. We shall just wait patiently for something to happen. Do 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 do. Right, there we go. We're going to get in there now. So let's see what happens. A few bits will fall off. I can guarantee that. And thud. Oh, looks like we lost a lifeboat. Damage in the side. And yep, not a lot happened in there. So that's the usual. We shall put the engines in the full reverse and pull out. As you do. And let's have a look at what's gone on. So we've got a dent in the side, a bit of damage to the oh, actually a hole in the side now. And we'll have one more hit. And then we'll uh do some more nasty things to it. So we'll just get the uh, the ship up to speed again so as I just say there's nothing going to happen but for some reason people want to see all this so I'm not going to argue let's see what happens this time and third again, oh more damage that time look at that big chunk kind of fell off the side yep yeah, we got some uh, damage going on there <laughs> yep yeah, that's all nice and neat there not uh, any damage below the waterline of course though but that's no big deal so we've got a big hole in the side there loads of bits fell off right that's that so we've got, we've got a bit of damage to the front of the titan but never mind so what we're going to do now what we're going to use we're going to put some bits on the front some pokers because um, they make things a bit uh, more interesting so we're going to put a few pokey things on the side hopefully do a bit of damage and we've got the central spur now to, to attach these things to so uh, yeah, this has not quite gone the plan. Well, we've got a spike on the front anyway. That'll probably do absolutely naff all. So, um, put another one a bit further up. I can't really attach them because, oh bloody hell! Because the way the ship's been designed or badly designed, I can't actually attach anything to it. So, oh well, we'll just use that one spike anyway, and we'll go with that. So, we shall use that spike and have one more wallop and then we'll go to the next phase which is uh, nuclear warheads which are a million times more fun than what I'm doing now but uh, we usually let the uh, nuclear warheads as a last resort in my case it will be the first resort but that's not my point and right, let's see what the red hot poker can do probably naff all like the first one and thud oh we've got a bit of damage this sort of uh, Knocked over a few bowling pins there. <laughs> I'm sure. Pull back again. And oh, I think the pin's stuck. Is it caught? Cool? No, it's fine. And it doesn't look too good. The water is just in the place we don't want it to be. The ship is right on the limit of being sunk. You can just see that the water is right on that white line. <laughs> water goes over that and then the ship's knackered. Right, next phase. Let's go and add a few tactical nuky things. Uh, one of those. We'll stick it on the end of the poker because the poker's still good. So we'll stick one there. Uh, where else can we stick one? Let's stick one on the sides there and there. And a bit further up there and there. Yeah, let's go a bit overboard with it this time. 
Right, so that's our nasty things. That might actually miss because of the uh, position they're in. But anyway, that is what we're going to come up with. And poor old Titanic. She's been through a lot in these past few months. And it's been ramming ships left, right, and centre, and uh, causing all sorts of damage. But that's all the fun, isn't it? Right, so we've got five tactical nukes, and one of them's got to go off, and that. So we'll see what happens here. Boom! There we go. Oh, that's a big blast. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Right, so always a big chunk taken out the side. There's it. Now the ship is starting down. Okie dokie. Let's just put the ship into full full gear and try and push poor old Carpathia over a bit. <laughs> it's all fun, isn't it? All fun and cruelty at the same time. I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Let's pull back again. Because although that was a big blast, it was not quite a blast enough, so we're going <laughs> to... Actually, I think that is enough. Yep, the ship is starting down completely now. Right. Let's be mean and just run the ship over. Carpathia is going under. And we're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna push over the ship now, because running over a ship that's the, that's being constructed the way my ships have been constructed. That's basically running a saw over the top of the ship. It's like running, rubbing, you know, sandpaper up the side of a pig. You know, it's it's, it's gonna cause damage. So uh, yeah, we're gonna push the ship over, and then we'll probably end up just driving over the side. It's all fun, isn't it? Fun and cruelty at the same time. Yeah, kind of cruel to think, you know, Carpathia was the one that saved the day, but like I said, this is what people do. You look at the, the comments section on my channel, you see that people, people want to see. I do not know why. But if we look down here now, you can see that the rough edges of the ship are now going to sort of be a saw against the side of the ship eventually. Actually, it's not helped at all because the ship is now sinking itself. <laughs> oh, piss. It's not quite gone the way I expected. Oh, well. Is there still horsepower? Is the ship still on? The ship's still moving, but most of the propellers are now out of the water, so... Uh, yeah, it's, it's not quite gone to plan. And the Carpathia is now coming back up again. Ass piss balls and all sorts. Alright, where's the ship in terms of where she is on the seabed? Not very far away. What's that there? Is that damage? Nope. Alright. Uh, yeah, things haven't quite gone to play. How can I be able to refloat this? Actually, that game's going into lag mode, so. Oh, we've broken free. Okay, this ship is now going to push against that funnel. Probably going to rip that to pieces now. It's just going to grind against that funnel now. Can't even control the ship. I don't even know what the controls are. Uh, no, it's... Ah, H and K. H and K are the controls we want. You can just see the ship is just going to push against the whole thing and... Yeah, but so this Carpathia is pretty much sunk now. Yep, Carpathia is just going down gradually now. Titanic is settled a bit. I'm gonna have to stop the engines because <laughs> it's just gonna make things worse. Look at that. That's that bloody hole in the front there, isn't that? I mean, look at all those compartments all broken open. But I don't, don't really understand why the ship sank like it did. I mean, there's no damage to the draft as such. Oh well, that's uh, that all gone. So the Carpathia, the Carpathia is just disappearing out of sight now, sort of. And so she's, I think she's just on the seabed. I think is the seabed nearby. Nope, still quite a way for her to go, but you can see she's going down gradually, and uh, it's going to take a little while for her to get there. Well, she's already, or a bow's already on the seabed anyway, so she's probably going to twist and bend over that. So no big deal. But uh, we set out, we achieved what we set out to achieve and uh, hollowed out a large ship. <laughs> Pardon me. 
and you can see the ship is going down quite fast. I mean, that's me stood still, and the ship is just going down, great, uh, going down on its own speed. So that's that. Okay, so where's Titan now? She's probably. And yeah, she looks a bit uh, down in the dumps, but I don't think we can do much more about that. Um, yeah. No big deal. I don't know if we can patch that up or not. I think the problem is uh, the water's gone into areas it should not be. So if I can patch this hole up, should be able to uh, bring her up a bit. So where is it? Where is it? Oh, no, there. All right. So hopefully that hole now patched up should free the rest of the compartments. But the problem is I think the rest of the compartments are above are flooded, so yeah, there they are. Oh, hang on, are we moving? Nope. So what's going on? I know that end compartment there is flooded, okay. But I don't understand why the rest of these are flooded. Because there's, there's no reason for them to flood. Okay, let's... Will that do anything? Aha, there we go, the ship has now refloated. Okay, I just destroyed and replaced an air pump, and now Titanic is resurrected from almost death. So there we go, that's uh, one thing sorted. And Carpathia is probably now on the seabed. I don't know where it is. Oh, yep, just saw it. There she is. Carpathia is now sunk and wedged between a mound and another mound. So she's sort of uh, teetering a bit. Don't you just love physics? She's just stuck on a rock there. There you go. That's Carpathia there. So that is it. That's all I'm going to do because uh, there's only really much else I can do is achieve what we set up to achieve and that's what people wanted to see. So uh, that's that. So that is Titanic sinking the Carpathia. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return with another video soon. So um, bye for now.